Okay, so here we go. Um, this is our chapter two topic assessment, and this is question one. So we've got a quadratic equation here, and I know it's a quadratic because I know that if I multiply this down, oh, whoops, let's get rid of all this. Multiply this term by this term, that I know I'm going to get an x squared. So therefore, we know that we're looking for overall in the end. We're looking for two solutions. So let's multiply out this and let's sort this out. So on this side, I should get on the right hand side, I should get 2x plus 10, and on the left hand side, I should get 2x squared from there. I should get a um, from that term there, I should get a minus 4x plus an x minus 2 and then if I sort all this out make it equal to 0 so I should get something along the lines of 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 check that you can do that bit and that's where one of our three marks is, is for getting that bit right so check that you can get from this step to this step and you can sort all that yourself Okay. Well, method of solution is we've got three options. We can factorize or try to factorize if it does. You can use the formula, that big clunking x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Or we can complete the square. So these are three methods algebraic methods of solution to so complete the square. So I'm going to try and factorise first of all. I'm going to try and uh, get this if I can into double brackets. I've got a 2x squared here so I've got to have 2x and an x. I'm going to make minus 12 so there's lots of different ways to make minus 12. I'm going to make minus 1 and 12 make minus 2 and 6 I can make minus 3 and 4 or I could do the other way around so I can have 1 minus 12 2 and minus 6 I can have 3 and minus 4 but one of them has got to be multiplied by this so you, know, you can draw these combinations in your head or you can find this other the little tricky methods as uh, solutions and methods you can use to use this I like to just kind of think it through so I'm going to try the 3 and the 4 because they're quite close and I know that 4 times 2 is 8, and then minus 3 is 5. Ah, oh, but I want minus 5, so actually, it means I want that selection. And now I'm going to put the minus 4 in this bracket, so it multiplies by the 2x plus 3 in here. Okay? And once we've got that, that's quite easy. We've got two things multiplied to make 0. Um, so I either I know that from the first bracket is zero or the second bracket is zero. So therefore this one goes ahead and I know that x is minus three over two, or from this one x is four. Um, I could go back and check my answers. I could go back and uh, plug these into this my equation here. Check both of these work. I can do that with my calculator. So you can check your solutions, and you know you must get them right. And we've got two different solutions here. They might not always be different, but we've got two solutions here, which is what we'd expect. We'd expect a quadratic to have two solutions, but we'll get on to how sometimes that it doesn't always work out exactly as it is. Okay, so check you understand this and check you're confident with these from going from this step to this step and then this step to these, these two solutions here. Okay.